Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Nicole. I'm Amira. And I'm MJ with GNA or Grizzly News Network. Today is Tuesday, February 7th, 2023. It's Black History Month, and BSU is counting down to their talent show this Thursday. Save the date and get your tickets for the talent show, which will be held on February 9th. That is this Thursday at 2.30 p.m. Tickets are now on sale. And you don't want to miss a chance to see Pacific Islander Cultural Club performing, along with Serenity, Jayla, and Caden singing. And there are a lot of people dancing, including Bobby, Benjamin, Ethan, and Zion. Tickets are $2. You can pay at the banker. Make sure you bring your receipt to Mr. Clark in room 807. To help bring awareness to black history, BSU went to the quad to test Spring Valley's, Spring Valley's knowledge on black history. Here's what they found. Okay, I'm here with Yee. Okay, Yee, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Do you know what Obama's first name was? Brock. Okay. Oh, I messed up the video. Okay, I'm here with Yee. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. What did Denzel Washington do? Uh, I don't know. Was he like a musician? He was an actor. Okay, I'm gonna ask you one more question. What team did Kobe Bryant play for? The Lakers. Okay, I'm here with Carly. Okay, Carly, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Okay. Who was the first black president before Obama? There wasn't one. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm asking. I'm very positive. A final answer. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ask you another question. Who was the person that didn't want to sit in the back of the bus? Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's her name? What's her name? Are you sure it's a girl? Yes, it's a girl. Liam? Liam. Yeah. Respect. All right. So, first question of the day. Who was the first black president before Barack Obama? I don't know. I, I thought he was the first president. No? Martin no. Luther King? That's correct. Good job. That's respect. All right. All right. I'm here with... Jameson. Hi, right, Jameson. I'm asking you a few questions about black history. All right. How many countries are in Africa? Like 50-something. Can you name at least five countries? Uh, Senegal. Uh... Cameroon, uh, Ethiopia, uh, Nigeria, and, uh, oh, wait, hold on. Amani? All right. Question of the day. <laughs> Question of the day. How many countries are in Africa? Like eight. Said what? Like eight, right? Close enough, close enough. Respect. I know it's right. Uh. Next week, starting on the 13th, there will be a Spirit Week. The BSU Spirit Week celebrates love and culture for Monday. Dress as your type, whether your type is a jock or skater, then Tuesday, Valentine's Day. Find your soulmate, wear the same shoes as your mate. For Wednesday, get out your pop culture gear and show off what is popular now. Then it's th Throwback Thursday 80 seam, so tease your hair and find some neon and leg warmers to show off. Finally on Friday, it's Culture Swag Day. Wear gear from your culture. And speaking of spirit days, how would you like more of a say in how we develop a spirit here on campus? Are you interested in building a sense of community at Spring Valley? Are you ready to grow as a leader? Do you want to plan events? Join Student Council for the 23 to 24 school year. Come to the Student Council informational meeting on Monday, February 13th at 2 p.m. in the theater. Now here's Nicole with some more news around campus. Thank you. Juniors and seniors, NAU is coming to Spring Valley. North Arizona University, located in beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona, is coming to Spring Valley tomorrow during first lunch. If you applied in the fall, this is a great opportunity to get next step information, or if you are just curious, talk to their rep about the programs, athletics, and scholarships they have to offer. Attention anyone in joining Little Armenia. The group is meeting tomorrow after school in room tw at 201 in room 806. Everyone is welcome to come and help celebrate the culture. 
If you're enrolled in a CTE course and it's your completion year, testing starts tomorrow. Workplace readiness testing will be this week, February 8th or 9th. The end of program testing will be February 27 or 28. Each test will be during your current CTE class. Remember to study and good luck CTE students. Environmental Club is helping us prepare for this upcoming Valentine's Day. The group is selling small bunk cakes that will be handed out on February 13 and 14. The gram is made on 100% recycled paper, and 10% of the proceeds will go to the World Wildlife Foundation. So if you want to send a cake to someone special, make sure to find an Environmental Club member. Or you can send us someone a delicious crumble cookie. Our Avid Club members are selling the cookies that will be delivered on Valentine's Day. They are $5 each. They are, the flavors are on screen, including dirt cake and pink velvet. You can purchase these crumble cookie grams through any Avid Club member or in room 803. A big congratulations to two of our orchestra students. Dylan and Pearl were chosen to participate in the Nevada Music Educators Association's All-State Ensemble. They got to perform at this year's conference. Way to go representing Spring Valley. This is the last week you make changes to your course selection. If you are unsure of what elective you might want next year, you can check out Elective Choices on our Spring Valley YouTube account. Use the QR code to access the site, then click on Playlist and look for the Electives Playlist. Remember, the last day you can make any changes to your course selection is this Friday. Attention seniors, the final deadline to purchase a senior ad is this Friday, February 10. Get your ad for as low as $40 and preserve your favorite high school memories in, the year, in this year's yearbook. Uh, ads can be purchased on the Justin's website. See Ms. Verderos in room 223 if you have any questions. Now here's Amira with some news, some news sports news. Thank you. The Spring Valley wrestlers remain undefeated. Against 5A public schools, the team did a great job this weekend and qualified eight wrestlers to go to state. Best of luck to all of those going to state. Last Friday game, you all made our gym electric. Thank you for coming and supporting our men's basketball team. Hope you all come and support this your Grizzlies this Thursday night at 6.30. As we take on El Dorado High School, Thursday night will be a special night for our seniors as a senior night. Hope to see everyone there. Today we have a men's basketball game against Rancho with B team playing at 3.30, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 6.30. Then girls flag football have a game against Mojave with B team at 3.30, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 6.30. Wednesday, our women's basketball team goes against Bishop Gorman at Bishop Gorman with B team at 3.30, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 6.30. On Thursday, we are wrapping up the week with men's basketball, having a game at home against El Dorado with B-Team at 3.30, JV at 5.30, and Varsity at 6.30. Remember to buy your tickets on ticketspicket.com and go and support our Grizzly athletes. Attention all students interested in boys golf. There will be an informational meeting with Coach Tippett in room 223 on February 9th at 1.20. It should only last about 15 minutes, so make sure to plan transportation afterwards. Come check out the opportunity to represent Spring Valley on the links. Attention all track and field athletes. Conditioning has started. Conditioning will pick up again Wednesday as well as next Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure to write their dates down. They will be out there from 2 to 3.15 each day. You can also join the Remind at SVT F23 to keep up on important updates and changes. Attention Grizzlies. Football players and any Grizzlies interested in playing football for 2023 season, we will hold a brief informational meeting on Wednesday, February 8th at 2.05 p.m. We will discuss changes to our program and off-season workouts. See you there. Go Grizzlies. Now here's Stephen with today's weather. Thank you. Today we will have a very sunny weather with a slight cool breeze. Weather is going to be like this the entire day, so make sure to get some sunlight, Grizzlies. Highs are going to be 60 degrees with lows ranging from 41 to 40 degrees. And there's going to be a slight breeze right around 11 miles per hour. As for the rest of the week, it looks to be very sunny as well. Grizzlies, did you know there's going to be a K-pop festival coming to Las Vegas called Wee Bridge Expo at Mandalay Bay on April 21st to April 23rd? There will be performance from Enhyphen, Promise 9, B.O., and many more. Alongside the concerts, the Grammy Museum will host a stage throughout the expo. On the expo floor, promising special performances and Q&A panels with festival performances open to all attendees. The events will have booths that sell fashion, food, and many other things if you're interested in this event. If you're interested, you can buy your tickets at webridgeexpo.com. Make sure to get your tickets before they sell out fast. Thank you, and back to you at the desk. Get ready, the Aloha Challenge is coming up. You can still sign up for the challenge. You will need to start getting your body conditioned if you plan to bike or run 8.5 miles on February 20th. Sign up for the challenge to help keep yourself committed. You should have an email with a link, or you can scan this QR code. Let's get outside and get healthy, Grizzlies. How does working at a baseball park sound? 
The, the Las Vegas Aviators minor league baseball team is hosting a job fair on February 11, 2023. The job fair will be on the club level of the park from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. They have all positions open, including game entertainment, promotion team, mascots, retail sales associates, box office ticket sellers, crew members, bat boys, bat girls, and many more. Bring your resume, dress for success, and scan the QR code for more information. This was Nicole, Amira, and MJ of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Tuesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.